Okay, so in this example of using if and else statements or else if statements, um, we have this. So we have a teacher wants to put in just some school mark and then the computer to tell them if the student gets the gets either a high distinction, a distinction, a credit, or a pass. So all marks are out of 100. So first what we want to do, I'll write out, like I'll break it up into the little bits that we want to do it, and then we'll write in the code. So first of all, teacher or user inputs a value of the mark. So now what we've got to say is we have to check to see if the users put like a, a valid value. So we have to say um, is the value, is the input, sorry, um, 100 or less. Because if they put like 200 or something like that, that's an invalid sort of mark, right? So is the input 200 or less? If it is, then get them to input it again. Okay. Or if it, uh, how about, because this might be a bit difficult, it's using something we haven't used. So if it is um, greater than 100, then, then say or print invalid input okay all right so now what we want to do is we want to start high and um, if it's if it gets lower like um, so we're gonna see is it 85 or above so I'll just write um, so HD 85 plus um, D is 75 plus and then I write but less than 85 and then we have credit is 65 plus and then obviously less than 75 and you'll see why I'm writing this out like this before um, it's so pass is I should write this in or fail. Pass is 50 plus less than 65 and then a fail is less than 50. Okay so now hopefully the way I've written this might will be easier so let me just save this to start so we'll say um, mark assignment Okay, so this is where our ifs and elses will, will happen. First of all, let's let's start off by doing the input. So let's call it mark equals input and then enter in a mark out of 100. And then I'll do that new line thing there just so... Actually, we don't need to for input. Okay, so we got mark, input, that's it. So now we're using our if statement. If mark, sorry, not bracket, mark is less than or equal to 100, and then do something. So is the input 100 or less? And then we should also do is the input. Um, greater than or equal to zero. Just so if someone enters a negative number, we're not going to get that. So you've got to think of all the possibilities of things that people can enter. So if mark is less than or equal to 100, and then you might have remembered this from before, or I might just be teaching you it now. It's a and and. So it's like if this is true and this is also true, then it proceeds with it. If one of them's not true, then it doesn't doesn't work. So I'm going to say if mark, a mark that we have is greater than or equal to zero. So I hope this makes sense. So this and represents 
a both of them have to be true for it to go into whatever's in this if statement. So now I'm going to put an end over here just to close that off. So well, actually, well, I'll write an else. So if the input's valid, essentially, is what this is. If the input's valid, then do whatever we want to do here. If it's not, then we want to f print f not a valid input mark must be between 0 and 100 and then I'll just close that off and since we're not putting any variables don't have to assign anything and then end so I hope this makes sense so the input was invalid I'm going to stretch this down a little bit. So if the mark is less than or equal to 100 and the mark is greater than or equal to 0, then do what we want to do. If it's not, then the input was invalid and so print out not a valid input, mark must be between 0 and 100. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. Now it's going to get a little bit complicated in here. So first off, we'll do HD. So now, if mark is greater than or equal to 85, we want it to print out the mark of, and we'll do our, our here, F. So whatever the mark of whatever the mark is we're going to assign is a high distinction. And then comma and then just write mark because that's the uh, value we want for that percentage F thing. So that's what it does if mark is greater than or equal to 85. Else. So this is if the mark is less than 85, but we're going to do an if statement. So else if mark, so that means that it's not greater than 85, we're going to go to this next one, right? Okay, so if mark is greater than or equal to, I should probably put, yeah, okay. Yeah, so if mark is greater than or equal to 75 now, since we have distinction is 75 plus, I'm just going to copy this just so I don't have to write it all out again. And then do this, so that's that, so we're going to say, Mark is a distinction. So I just copy this across. I'll just put the uh, the lines in where we have them. Okay. Yep. So if the mark is, and then we have to keep replicating this for the credit one. Else, if mark is greater than or equal to 65 so it means that it's credit so I'll just copy this in and then I'll copy this in so do this the credit so I hope you kind of understand the logic here I'll go over it once when uh, we're done so now else we want to see if the mark is at least above a um, a fifty. Okay. So if the mark is above a fifty, then we we print out this mark is a pass, and then. So if we follow down, so it's like say you get you put in a mark of 40 or something like that. If mark is greater than 85, well it's not. So go to this next one. If mark is greater than 75, well it's not because 45 is less or 40 is less than 75. Okay. Else, if mark is greater than or equal to 65, it's not. Else, if mark is greater than or equal to 50, it's not. And so we have to do else. And then f print f, the mark is a shit mark. 
or a fail. The mark of is a fail. Okay. And then we have to end this. Uh, we have to just do an end command there, which just closes off our, our ifs and, and whatever there. Okay, so I'll just copy our comments in here just so you can know know what's happening. Okay, so given this is a bit more of a complicated example than you might be willing to do, but here it is. So now we've completed the code that it gets a an input and then goes through whether these are true. So for example, say we get a mark of 70, right? So if mark is less than 100, well that's true. And if mark is greater than zero, well 70 is, so we go to here. So now if mark is greater than 85, it's not. So we have to go on to our next one. Else if our 70 mark is greater than or equal to 75, it's not. So we go on to our next one. Else if mark is greater than or equal to 65, well our 70 mark is. And so we pop into here, whatever's in here. And then so it prints out whatever's there and then finishes. Okay? So then once it once it's done that, it's 70, it doesn't look at any of the other ones in here. So it goes boom and then straight to end. And then it will be done. Okay? So it just I might just put all the, the new lines in here. Just because otherwise it just looks bad when we do the actual commands. All right. Okay, so we're gonna do it. I'm gonna run this. I'll make this command window smaller or bigger. Sorry. So run it. Now here we go. Enter mark out of a hundred. So to test it, we'll try a mark of. Um, we'll do one that doesn't fulfill this first if statement. So I'll do like a hundred and ten not a valid input, mark must be between 0. So 110, it goes into here. Well, this isn't true, since the mark is greater than or equal to 100, and so it goes straight down to this this one here. So not a valid input, mark must be, and that's what it's output. So if we run it again, sorry, there's a lot of moving here. It's kind of, it's a small screen. So enter mark out of 100. So now we'll try like a negative number, so again, Mark must be between 0 and 100, so that doesn't work. Now we try another one. Enter mark out of 100. So now let's do, we'll test it for each case. So I'll do 90, so it should display high distinction. Yeah. So, mark of 90 is a high distinction. It does all those decimal points because we haven't specified here. So I could do 0 0.0 and it will, it will change its output. So here we go. 90. Mark of 90 is a high distinction. Okay. We'll run it again. I do mark of 81. Mark of 81 is a distinction. So 81 is greater than 75 but less than 85. So it will come in here and it prints out this. So just take some time to look through this code. Like we can we can practice it for everything. I'll do like mark of 2. 2 is a fail, mark of um, a mark of 50, so it's right on the edge, is a pass, and then that kind of thing, so a mark of um, 66, so that should be credit, and it is. So just have a look at this code, and that's uh, an if-else statement. Uh, uh, example.